I felt angry with him for bearing the name and doubly disgusted with the name because a stranger bore it who would be the cause of its twofold repetition who would be constantly in my presence and whose concerns in the ordinary routine of school business must inevitably, on account of the detestable coincidence, be often confounded with my own. His singular whisper, it grew the very echo of my own. I cannot better describe the sensation which oppressed me than by saying that I could with difficulty shake off the belief of having been acquainted with the being who stood before me. At some epoch very long ago. His singular whisper, it grew the very echo of my own. His singular whisper, it grew the very echo of my own. Yet in him, at mercy, I plunged my sword with brute ferocity, repeatedly through spoke no longer in a whisper, and I could have fancied that I myself was speaking while he said, You have conquered, and I yield. In me didst thou exist, and in my death see by this image which is thine own, how utterly thou hast murdered thyself.